Cafe Nation, we have switched on over to the Canal Side Lounge for a very special uh, man who I saw on the streets, and then uh, Kid Nation reached out to him and brought us all together. I saw on the streets. Yeah, that's where I, that's I, where I meet all my friends little, on the streets. I get to more explanation on that. Well, Kinsey and I, my wife and I, were in uh, New Orleans for Mardi Gras, yeah. and we decided to relive my last uh, hangout with Kid Craddock. Okay, which is. Which we did in New Orleans, and when we walked into the French Quarter, I heard this musician singing, and we stopped. I just took in the moment, and I watched people watch him perform, and how they were. Some women were in tears, and some people were dancing, and it was raining, it was cold, and the fact that he had that many people standing still in this cold weather, listening, watching him. I just looked at him. I was like, how is this guy not famous? Right. Like, what, what's going on over here? And I wanted to know more, but my wife wanted to go have fun. So we did. And I said, <laughs> I'll catch him on the way out. You know, I'll go up to him on the way out. And, it, and by the time we got done, he was gone. Uh-oh. Mm. He was gone. I was on social media a few days later, and I saw, I went into my, my other, other folder. Nice. And uh, I saw a message that said, hey, people are telling me to reach out to you. And I don't know why, but I opened that one. Because a lot of the times we don't, we, we don't get right. to every message we get. And I opened it up and it was Maurice. It was the gentleman I had seen performing on the street in New Orleans. And he said, hey, Kid Nation reached out to you. So here, joining us in the Canal Side Lounge, let's welcome Maurice. Yeah. Woo-hoo! to that mic, Maurice, so we could hear you or, or bring it down. Because I know you got your doggy with you, man. Oh, the dog is so cute, Maurice. Could you tell everybody what his name is? So this is actually Cole. Cole? Cole. His whole name is Charcoal, but nobody ever wants to say that. Well, it it was cool that you reached out because I started looking at your social and I got to dive deep and see what you're all about. And I saw that you were on American Idol. That was last season, season 12. Oh, just last year. Okay. Okay. Well, if you watched the Oscars, you probably saw me. I came on after the Oscars. Yeah. So Did you make it to Hollywood? I did. Wow. Was this after that slap? What slap? (laughs) Will Smith? Yeah. uh Yeah, it was. Oh, wow. What yeah. a nine. So American Idol, what went down? How far did you make it on, on American Idol? I think Idol? it was like the top 56 or the top 40 something. Okay, so Hollywood. So wins. I got cut in uh, not the genre round, the duet round. You have also gone on stage with the likes of like Morgan Wallen. Yeah. Was it similar to this? Like were yep. people reaching out to him and like? Uh, well, not necessarily. It was um, TikTok. I was out in the quarter performing on top of my truck on like a Tuesday. It's crazy because like I usually take Monday and Tuesday off. But that day I was like, you know what, those, those folks need some entertaining. <laughs> so I got out there. I, it wasn't that many people. I wasn't making that much money, but it was about, you know, the, the, what I wanted to do. So uh, about 10 minutes before I was about to uh, end it up, some lady, she walks up to me. She was like, hey, I got a video of you and my husband writes songs for Morgan Wallen. <laughs> I was like, sure, old lady. But <laughs> anyway, so um, I get home and she sends me a message of a group chat. That apparently, like Morgan, Ernest, Hardy, and one of their other writers are in, and she sent the video to her husband, who then sent it to the group chat, <laughs> and oh they were all God. like, "This is cool, amazing, whatever they said." So um, I was like, "Ah, okay." That hey, you're like, "Pull fake. me, <laughs> yeah. pull me another drink." Another I love one. how these things happen just from people watching you and really yeah, liking man. what you're doing. The man. internet, it's wild. Wait, like, so you get involved in this group chat about yourself, right? Correct. Or, and so, so then they invite you. Do they reach out to you? Um, they did actually. So after that happened, I just knew like something's about to happen. Right. So I took the weekend off. I went to Houston and I was in a hotel. You're just taking chilling. a lot of days off there, son. <laughs> I'm just saying, you took money and chances <laughs> off. Now you took the weekend the off. Schedule is flexible. <laughs> yeah. 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 You got to work hard, brother. Self-employment. Yeah, yeah self-employment. <laughs> so you go to Houston. So I'm just chilling and I get a call from, um, well, first I get a message from this guy named JJ. Shout out, JJ. He's just like, hey, hit me up when you can. And he, that's all he said. So I went to his profile and like his first picture is with like him and Morgan. And we talk. Then he calls me back, and it's on the three way with Morgan. I didn't know. Oh wow! But um, so well, we Morgan Wong's on the phone with you. Yeah, and you have no idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> so like, it was kind of funny because people call him Mo. Uh-huh. Apparently, JJ was asking me. He was like, uh, "What do people call you besides Maurice?" I was like, "Mo," and he was like, "That's crazy because uh, people call Morgan Mo." I was like, "Oh man, well I gotta change my name." And then Morgan steps in, like, "Nah, man, we can share." It. Oh my god! And I'm like, "Oh my god, it's Morgan Mo." <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I didn't do that. Played it cool. Yeah, I'm like, like, what's oh. up, Mo? I'm like, this is real. So, yeah, that's how that happened. Now, what was the song that you were playing that got you the gig with Morgan Wallen? It was The Way I Talk. And I had Cole up there with me, too. He was up there chilling. 
barking at everything. The first time I ever heard that song was when you were playing it. Really? On the that's French the Quarter. And I had, I mean, I like Morgan Wallen, but now that's like my favorite song right now. <laughs> it's mine too. Yeah, and it's, it, I guess it's an old song from like 2018. Yeah. yeah. But would you give us a little taste of uh, of your music? What what song do you oh, want to play for us yeah, first, no. Maurice? I'm, I'm going to sing that one. Oh, the way I talk? Are you going to hold your dog? Do you want us to watch him? Oh, no, he sits on the dog. What? Yeah, he plays with the dog on, on the guitar. If you <gasps> watch his so TikTok cute. videos, Cole is a big celebrity. <laughs> I think Cole's got his own fan club and everything. Uh, wow, he sits on movies. the guitar. Too cute. He really sits does. Sits on, on the guitar oh while you play. Oh, my gosh, that's adorable. He's, he's feeling like super lazy. He's been laying down all day on the guitar, but, but uh, that's how it is. All right, the way I talk. Mm -hmm. It sounds a little bit like my daddy. Don't cuss around my mama. That's the worst you never heard. It should come from down yonder. The man upstairs gets it. So I ain't trying to fix it. No, I can't hide it. I don't fight it. I just roll with it. Oh, kind of slow like Mississippi Road. It's the only way I know. No, oh, man, it ain't my fault. I just do the way I talk. I love how Cole just sits there. Hi, baby. Hi. If you, if you, when you she make it big. To me. When you make it big, you think Cole's going to go on tour with you and be on stage? Uh, most definitely. I'm going to have to give <laughs> him some earplugs. How, but, is uh, that, how did that become a bit with the dog on your guitar? I mean, they're just like, he, she just, is it a he or she? It's a he. So he, he barks he just... at every other dog, as well as crackheads and a few other things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I swear to God, he has a crackhead meter. But um, so he just kept barking and barking and barking. And I was trying to get him to stop. So I just picked him up one day and grabbed him and sat him down. He just laid down. I was he like, loved oh, it. that's he so likes cute. It. So sweet. Man, yeah. I've always wondered how much money, not you personally. Well, yeah, okay. You got to ask. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, on an average night, a guy that's performing on the street in the French Quarter or wherever, how much are you bringing in? Real personal. <laughs> real personal. Why don't you, then why don't you reveal how much you make doing the kid crowd at morning? Yeah, sure. Or is it okay. enough to enough for you to? Yeah. Due to the fact that uh, I'm probably am going to do this again uh, after I leave here, yeah. I don't want those guys to be like, "Hey, he's making too much money." Yeah, these guys are making too much money, so uh, yeah. I make enough. So I haven't had to work since I got to New Orleans. Ever. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And it's called busking. It. I call it street performing. Busking street is a performing. little. Uh, not derogatory, but yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Because you got a setup. You got a. You got Mike. You got an yeah. amp. You got. You, you, he performs We're on top of his truck. About it. Yeah. Uh, you got charcoal down here. Yeah, yeah like, I got a whole. You said coal. got to New Orleans, so you came from. Did we already get into that? You're from South Carolina. Straight from South Carolina. Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. From Myrtle yeah. Beach. You know Kelly's from South Carolina. I, I We've heard already Florence. discussed it. I'm getting ready to go home. Yeah. Because boiled peanuts, they all think I'm crazy. Did you oh, grow up loving man. or not of liking? Of course, of course. Of course. See, and they think we're all crazy about that. Y'all never had boiled peanuts. Oh, we no. had it one time when we were on, didn't a, like on a road trip. It was, it was weird. Uh, they're like, they're wet. I don't know about these soggy, soggy nuts. nuts. You know, it's just Can't weird. explain they it. suck all the saltiness out of it. I know, it's just mm. weird, man. I just don't know something weird about them. So from South Carolina, you moved to New Orleans because you thought that was going to be the best place to do the street performing? Well, um, one of my foster parents was a band director, and like he always showed me videos of this lady named Doreen. She's a clarinet player. She's like a legend down there. So one day when I was making this spontaneous decision... I was actually on her page just looking around. I was like, man, New Orleans looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, it's That's the most good. beautiful thing you could ever yeah. imagine. Yeah. So you were in the foster system. Yes, sir, I was. Till so, I was 18. Till 18 years old. Yes, sir. And so you had to go from home to home. From home well, to how'd you home. find music? It was um, that lady? Honestly, I, cr I credit God. But every home that I was in, every foster home, every group home, even when the little juvenile detention centers, I uh, somehow got into music. Um, I actually won a national competition in juvie for Man, music. Where? Juvie? In juvie. Wow. Yeah, they had uh, all the kids in foster care do little videos of them singing a song or something like that around the country. And um, I won first place. And after I got out of juvie, of course, they had me uh, flown to Indianapolis and I performed at the Speedway Aww. with uh, my last foster dad who really taught me how to understand Music. He taught me trombone. He taught me everything I needed to know wow. to go to New Orleans. Wow. And so when I got out and won that competition, he was actually the one who took me out there. And 
they said all expenses paid, but in the foster care system, that means your foster parent has to pay for it, and then we'll pay you back in about seven years. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Oh. He so, was willing to do that. He was. Good. He was. You need those people in your life. And by the way, yeah, he does bust out the trombone when he's performing, like mid-song. He'll get busted out, and he's playing trombone, and goes back to singing. It's incredible. You see you You're doing not your fingers like this. The, the trombone doesn't have no. it. No, I meant to pull. Oh. You're not in New Orleans. <laughs> That's a trombone. You're not in New Orleans, obviously, right now. So are you Are you touring? you taking this on the road? What brings you here? Um... So I actually just came here for this. Oh, really? Yeah. Just, oh, for, this just for y'all. Right? Just for y'all. You were just on stage with uh, L. King. Correct. So same thing, social same media. Thing. Social media. Uh, caught you and, and she hit you up and was like, oh, you want to go perform with me? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a real big believer in the power of the internet. You know? Yeah. I feel like if I sing to enough people, you know, eventually somebody's going to get the vibe. Would you perform another song for us? Oh, of Maurice? course, man. I would, I would love to. Uh, yeah, your favorite one. What Cole? you, you going to play for us? Yes. Yes. Guitar, please. I'm actually, uh, shout thing. out to American Idol. I'm going to play the song that got me kicked off American Idol. Oh, perfect. This is the song yes. that got you kicked off. Yes, a redemption. Yeah, nobody, nobody got to see this. It didn't get aired, but... Uh, you know what? We had, a, uh, we had a bit called Idol Got It Wrong before that we did with a former contestant, so this is Idol Got It Wrong Part 2. Yes. Let's go, Maurice. Oh, Ooh, I'm gonna take my horse to that old town road I'm gonna ride till I can't no more I'm gonna take my horse to that old town road I'm gonna ride till I can't no more I got the horses in the back Horse stock is attached Head is mad at black Got the boots and black to my hands Riding on a horse you can whip your Porsche I've been in the valley and been up off that porch Can't nobody tell me nothing, yeah Can't tell me nothing, yeah Can't nobody tell me nothing, oh Can't tell me nothing I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road I'm gonna ride till I can't no more I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road I'm gonna Right till I can't no more. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, they said awesome, no, bro. sir, no, sir. We cannot have that on American Idol. Oh, nah. we say yes, sir, on that, personally. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If we want to keep up with you, share your uh, social media so Kid Nation members can follow you and follow your journey and see if you're close by to go watch you. Oh, man, Maurice the Music, anywhere. Instagram, Maurice TikTok. the Music. How you spell Maurice? Because I tried to spell it once and. <laughs> uh, I got that red line Just under it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a M A U R I C E, like Ma Rice. Ma Rice. Ma Rice. Underscore? Nope. No. Ma Rice, what? Maurice the Music. The music. Maurice the music. The music. Right? Maurice Maurice on the music. TikTok, Instagram. Everything. Perfect. The dark web. Twitter. <laughs> Maurice, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank y'all, man. Oh, putting all that work, it. bro. Yes, sir. Anytime. Where's the dog at? Where is he? Okay. <laughs>